So, happy Friday. Let's get started here and see. It should just be a matter of loading the game and then loading or inviting anybody in. Oh, the most important question. Hey, Veronica, who is your favorite pet? Jeff Betty needs to know. is pretty good. The way he attacks you every morning is hilarious. Especially when he cleans out your nasal cavity with that cute little tongue of his. Yes, he's a little yeah, monster. Okay. Miki's a monster, just so you know. How can he be a monster if he can't even attack you anymore? Well, he could if somebody puts him up on the bed. And and I was actually goofing around this morning with him. And I uh, he was sleeping on the floor here. And I went down, I laid next to him. so And I was facing him face to face. And then... I just wait. I just just lay in there, just staring at him, and all of a sudden his eyes just kind of pop open. He's, he's all, "What?" <laughs> and the next thing I know, here comes the tongue, it goes right into my face. I so much earned that one, but it was funny. So he still does it, but he need, he does doesn't get up on the bed anymore. So unless Miss Skimpy puts him up there, because he's not confident going up and down stairs. So. <sighs> Oh, and Vrukul's needs to add, needs to know. Hey, Veronica, who is the coolest viewer? Who is the coolest viewer? Let me think about that. Meerkat is cool because he lives in the future and still finds time to watch the stream. There we go. So we're missing Hobo, right? Yep. Okay. Invite sent to Hobo. Although, the only thing you really need to do, Ho, is once the game is up and running, just go into Steam and you can join from there, too, from your friends list. And that goes to everybody, of course. If you're doing multiplayer in Baldur's Gate 3. Not that you can join this game. That's how that works. It didn't work. Oh, it didn't? It should be. No. Yeah, I was able just to open up the friend list, right-click right -click Gimpy, and click just join game. No way you can do it in Hobo Camp. Well, we'll figure it out next week. Eh, that's not, it's not critical. I mean, it's me sending the invite is just as easy, so. Anyway, this is where we left off last week, talking to uh, Auntie Ethel there. I forget how that went. But just a reminder, I have four different characters. Okay, we got... Uh, Okay, so cast of characters. I guess you can just do it this way. So we have Gimpella. Gimpella is a wood elf druid. A circle of the spores. Hurricane is a dragonborn sorcerer. Gonna play around with electricity for the most part. Jeff is a dwarven cleric of life. And then Hobo in the boxcar <laughs> is a drow uh ranger currently but uh, probably doing uh, multi-class and a rogue at some point so i think we're set though that's it that's it so what are we doing today we still have to talk to a lot of people here we basically just arrived yep and yes Gimpella is do wielding scimitars because it's a thing um those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Okay, yeah, so this is um we we all get to see the conversation and Jeff and Hurricane are or Jeff and Hobo are supposed to be voting on what to choose from because they haven't played the game yet. This is the first time playing it. Hurricane and I have played at least you know, most of the way of, of a run through, if not a complete one. So, so we're we're trying to not ruin things. But uh, remember, I haven't played a Dragonborn sorcerer yet. So, if there's a Dragonborn option in the dialogue, I don't know what will happen. Okay, well, that's fine. You've been on hard times too, huh? You've been facing blah blah blah. Hey, zombie! Welcome back. Happy Friday. That doesn't mean it's behind us, though, does it? Here, have more. We'll need every bit of strength to make it to Baldur's Gate. Trust me. Where did I put that old bucket? 
Okay, so there's that. So looks like we'll be voting on uh, stuff for the con for conversations. Um, everybody's running their own character. So we have people to talk to. I'll follow Hobo around, see what kind of trouble he can get into. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? It was quite short. I thought it would be longer. These guys? Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Well, because uh, that was Zoru. Uh, maybe later. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? Weird. Mm. It's okay. Death, parry, strike, damn it! It's just not landing. Fighting's hard. Mm -hmm. Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood, and the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. He's a wimp. Side. No one you're struggling. You no balance, base your feet. Uh oh. No, hope it's not our hurricane's not close enough. No, wait a minute. How can we need to get a guidance on your own check? Hmm. He was only a boy. And I just just used to take faults. Or his head, clean off. Oh, yeah, guidance won't work with that, will it? Never again. Okay, now you know how he's thinking. You're right. I, I need to clear my head. And step, parry, step, step, swing. Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Okay, I'll think. Don't sh uh, shout out your mouth like that. Spoils a surprise for your foe. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Don't shout out your moves, you moron. Ah. You gotta be nice. Be nice. What? About shouting out his moves? That's that's helpful advice, you know. Eh, that's kind of dickish. Actually, it's not. <laughs> not when you're learning how to use a sword, it's not. <laughs> uh, Rebekah, welcome to the stream. I streamed very much last night. Any plan to stream it? Probably next Thursday, Rebekah. Probably next Thursday. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. And if you missed any of the stream yesterday too, you can watch it on YouTube starting tomorrow. <coughs> you find the edges of a concealed entrance. Hey guys, there's an entrance here. The creature isn't what it's supposed to be. What creature? The cow. The ox. Did it move? I no. talked to it. Do you have speak with animals? Yes, and it told me that it... Oh, because I read... said it didn't appear to what it... It's not what it appears to be. Right. I've already talked to him. That's probably why it's not going through. Okay, thank you, you Robert. want to go in the concealed hatch? Sure. Or how do you click things again? Was it Alt or what is it again? Middle mouse button. 
Oh, Alt right. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I changed my bindings because, you know, it's easier to use right middle, middle mouse button. Anyways, you guys feel like looking in the sealed hutch? Sure. I opened it. Well, Hobo's just uh, emptying a steel chest here. I'm just giving him a backup. Then okay. he'll join you. Okay. And I found something for Jeff. There's something down here. Oh, people. Yeah, kids. Little criminals hey. is really what they are. Jeff, I have some metal armor gloves that I can use. Maybe you can. Okay. All right, where are you guys? We went into the hatch that was on the ground. What hatch? <laughs> the one I was just talking about for the last ten minutes. I was at the chest. Here, I'll come back up. Oh, that hatch. Oh. You didn't see my conversation with the kid? No. None of us did, yeah, actually. Oh! No. Is there... I did. Is there something I have clicked to ensure that happens, or what is that? Okay, I'm now here. Now. No, but I was talking to a kid before I went down the hatch, so... We didn't see any of that, unfortunately. Is that there, like, an eavesdrop I... setting that uh, I have to see, or...? Yes, but... You... I saw a conversation with a kid that he had. Oh. And I don't know what's going on. And was I it... even saw his role. Maybe we were too far out from each other. Maybe. Did you talk to the kid Anyways, down I here? Kid. Uh, then the kid disappeared, and then I saw, found this hatch. Oh. And that's why I said, shall we go down the hatch? Hmm. Maybe the conversation happened while... While you guys were talking to cows? Talk yeah. Could no, not talking to cows, but the, the tiefling before. The guy that needed instruction on how to use a sword. Maybe that conversation was happening. Yeah, the same that was time. a conversation I had just before it. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. Maybe just... I talked to the dude with the sword, and then I talked to the kid. Maybe we're just too far apart. And the kid is just a little bit further down. So I don't know. Okay. We're well, probably just too far apart. No big deal. So what are we doing? Um, I need someone with high strength who can make a big jump. Uh, Jeff, you want to volunteer? If you're going to throw me, I don't know. No, no, no you will do it on your own. You have ten turns to get over there, get it, and come back. Yeah, I can do You're good to go. Worth tossing, kind of, well, encouragement. Flying Super here, jump. So it was like gold and was it an agate in there? I can't remember. I think yeah. Hmm. Well, he's, he's talking. That was quite a conversation. He was talkative. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Not sure why you're poking your nose in our business, though. Everyone's seen this, right? He has kids. Yeah, I, I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't he a little young to have kids? Well, more than being told to stay away from somewhere. We have that in common, then. But you aren't welcome here. This is our hideout. But hey, maybe you didn't know. Because of that... I'll give you a ten count to leave. Or what? Yeah. <laughs> Nine. Eight. Seven. So we're leaving? Six. No. I say you pick him up by his ears and toss him around a little bit. That doesn't seem to be uh, the good thing to do with a child. Uh -oh. <laughs> Why'd you walk away for Hurricane? You afraid of a little cat, kid? I get away, Ivy, too. I don't want to kill any children. 
You don't have to kill them. But if they attack because we're still here, you can use non non uh, or non killing strikes. Remember, there's a there's, there's a hole in the floor. There's a way to do an attack that's uh, non lethal. I think uh, passives under passives. Yep, toggle non lethal attack. So if you had to, you didn't want to kill any children. You don't have to kill them. So how do you do that? Bottom of your screen, where your where your buttons are, where it says uh, common, your rate, your your class, items, passives. Click on passives, and button in there should be toggle non-lethal attacks. Oh wow! Okay. I wouldn't recommend it normally, but uh, it doesn't always work. I think the only one who can do something to get through this hole would be uh, Gimpy transforming into some, a small creature. What hole? The hole that on the floor. Not a chance, I'll no. I don't see a hole. Oh, there's a hole. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm small. I should probably get in there. Not a You're not that small. Let me get my boot behind you and kick you in there. <laughs> Anybody got uh, an enlargement, reverse enlargement spell? I'm a cat. Oh, and now I'm outside. You can yeah. double click Gimpy's portal and uh, see where he is. And uh, he's back. I am. Oh. I see he's somewhere else. Well, that's kind of. Where the hell am I supposed to be going here? What an ugly cat. I agree. You need to roll the perception check to see the way back. Hey, the kids are following. Oh, I think I attracted the kids here when I'm out. So where the hell am I? Am just outside the entrance. The hole just took me back out to the top. Basically, the same way we came in. I look pointless unless I'm missing something here. Yeah, I don't know what the purpose of this is, because there's nothing here. Nothing that you can perceive is there. The only thing I can perceive is two kids and a ladder to get out, get, get out of here if we wanted to, but I can go back into the hole, so. I am a druid. See? Druid. Cat. Yeah, there was nothing on the other end. I'm not exactly sure what the point of that was. We're not done talking to them yet, are we? I don't know. Are we? There's a kid named Melili here. I'll wait for you guys and I'll talk to him. Where's Jeff? You're the first grown up who's ever gotten in here. Do you not guys bad, see this? Seeing yep. it, yes. No. That's You're it. the first grown up. Guess that's it. There's a book and here. Things to be gone. Don't steal from the kids. It's a book. Right. I read the book. Oh, anything interesting in it? No, the other book. What was the other book? <clears throat> you read the book. No time and place. Rizla Radel would be celebrated as a revolutionary. It's about this girl. You are unable to speak. Can't talk because I'm a cat. You can't speak because. He's, I don't know. 
He just grunts. Okay. So what was Maul's problem? Or Ma is that Mally? No. Maul, the one-eyed kid. What was his problem? Didn't like it. Yeah, but why? They were grown-ups. Oh, yeah, I know why. I know why. Oh, this area seemed pointless. It's actually not, but... Well, what else is there to do here? We came down too early. We haven't. We we're supposed to do something before we came down here, so. How are we supposed to know that? You don't. That's the thing. If you're totally into exploring every inch that you encounter, you kind of miss out on a lot of stuff. Well, let me phrase it this way: you making the two rolls to find this entrance was a low chance. I'm watching you. Okay, don't steal any race in D and D consisting of demonic desserts. They are to be known as triflings. Triflings. What's the key to see stuff that you can interact with again? Was it wasn't alt, was it? Left alt. Left alt. But it's not everything. Just a few things. The rest is uh, exploring and uh, checking, discovering. Well, like this this open crate right here, if you hit alt, it doesn't show up. But if you yeah. put your cursor over it, you can see Let there's stuff there. Go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Ragrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <gasps> oh, look, it's a teddy bear. You have big teddy bears in your area. Still teddy bears. I, it's Bob. Can I punch him in the nose? I, I thought you liked Bob. No. We could have taken those gods. Well, right. if you need to take out some aggression on him, then Lives sure. Are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. I could talk to him. You don't have to, but... Let me talk to them a little bit. I'm a druid, remember? Oh, I talked to the bear? Oh, should I just uh, leave and do you the talking for the, for the druids? Yeah, I think. Let's see if that helps. I thought all druids hate each other, pretty much. No, not always. Yeah, you're from the wrong grove. <laughs> from the wrong side of the grove. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, get back! I'm a druid, same as yourself. Allow me to pass and pay my respects, please. Druid or not, you're still an outsider to this place. Entry is forbidden. Hey, a Taco. Moment. Welcome back. Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. What have you so, just the one person or all of us? All of us. Just be careful. Keep their confidence if you insist. Why is he roaring at me? He's roaring at me. Can I walk around him? Yep. Where are we going? Explore around. How do I pet the bear? You can't. Got it. Is that a bear or a person? Who? That guy? That He's a bear, I think. Here. Let me talk to him. Just a moment. 
This man is recording my story. I am far from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. Dear God. Now talk to the human. I don't know. I don't want to talk to this guy. I've never learned to converse with your kind. Is his last name Lovecraft or something? Probably. Hurricane, talk to him. Oh, it's Volo! Yeah. Yes, it's Volo. Hurricane, you going to talk to him? I couldn't click on him because someone else clicked before me. Oh. I did. Well, no one was clicking, so I clicked him. It's Volo. The Are you talking Volo. to him, Holo? Fo Hobo? Yes. Oh, it's yeah, not... Can... It's the not... symbol next to his portrait. Oh. The symbol next to uh, Hobo's to portrait. Okay. You can listen when in. The goblins came, you saw them up close? A few glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Give an exact description. Goblins were of a rare jam-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? It was me. What? What mm. dragon? There was no dragon. Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. How could you f lost? What? Up, then you'll be quite free. <laughs> Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? War cry, I don't think so. It was concentrating on dying. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. <laughs> I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Superstition not worth the ink and parchment. Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. If one comes, I don't know from Mercy. Wait, our conversation earlier. Why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. He's an embellisher. Yep, he's an embellisher. He's the famous Volo. Infamous is a better word. about this place. I wrote the various grimoires of the various areas in Farron. By Sylvanas, the tree father, our turmoil is calmed. She has lots to say. You can't just tap on the shoulder and say, hey, what are you doing? Nah, they're kind of busy. Yeah. 
for the historical movies done by Hollywood, obviously. Hey, look, a sleeping bear. Is he? Oh, he is sleeping. What do they say about sleeping bears? Oh, hey. Uh, let the druid talk to him. That's what they say. Yes. I sleep. Throw a fish next to the elevator. Could you move just a little bit? I need to use the elevator. <sighs> okay. See, if you talk to a bear nicely, Hobo, they will do what you want them to do. Yeah, and you can keep true. your fish. <laughs> you can right. keep your bird feeder. So how do we use the... Oh, there's a thing here. Yep, there's a lever. You all have to... Well, you know, you should all be on the platform. Hobo, where are you? We're missing one. You'll come in there. <laughs> Squirrel, kill it. They're all pure evil. Mm -hmm, they are. Lunges at your foot and bites yeah. it. Little bastards. Kill it. You're trespassing. This is my territory. When I'm back off, squirrel, I'll make you. Uh, I'm not the best one to be doing this, but I'm the only one you can talk to. Him. Not gonna make oh. it. We did not intimidate the squirrel. <laughs> squirrel beat wow. us out. You suck. You don't scare me. I've got bears on my side. Now get moving. I'm tired of looking at you. Oh, squirrels? Yep. Watch, Hurricane's gonna kill it. Because he's a monster. Can I just pick him up and toss him down his throat. The squirrel lunges at your foot and bites it. <laughs> uh. I think the wrong person's a druid. The squirrel's gaze that wasn't a druid thing. Ugly feet. Your own on her territory. Looking around, her territory extends from one end of the grove to another. Ah, oh, look at all those bonus rules you have to use to intimidate a squirrel. Get lost. The squirrel freezes, muscles tensed in alarm. She gets the message. After a final squeak of warning, break the rules and there will be trouble, she scurries away. But what are the rules? I got a reward. Did, did I have get? the feeling uh, if we're... Um, if not every... Every item for uh, herbalism and uh, alchemy is on one person. We can't do everything. We should pull that stuff. You sit. On one person, right? Yeah, because we have... Uh, I think I had two things in my alchemy, alchemy pouch. You had some stuff. We, we It's all uh, scattered. Does it matter? Since you're the druid, I... Go into your options for the brewing. Option. Oh, wait. Now I have given up all my stuff. I see zero options, so it doesn't take into account what other what others have. 
Or maybe you're just all too far away. There's that thing as well. Okay, so how do I give all my stuff to the druid? It's the blue pouch. That's the alchemy pouch. If you see a number on there, you have stuff in there. Yeah, I got two things in there. Oh, I could just send it to Gimpella. Or, okay, I'll give it to Gimpella. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but she kept gasping, clawing at the arrow. Remember, every time you ask, uh, talk to someone, if you see a hand with falling coins on the lower left, check if they're selling something nice. Which she might be. She might be. That's what Zevlo said too. I hope you're right. I want to help. I just didn't think it would feel like this. What, murder? <laughs> That's what it's supposed to feel. You murdered somebody. <laughs> okay, I gave it a Gimpy. The soul coin, what's that for again? We, I never found that. Well, it's a currency of some kind, but I never really got to use one, I don't think. Or did I? Not until later in the game. I didn't want to do that. Oh, I see something. I see something coming closer. See what? A bugbear assassin. That guy. Oh, somebody's not maybe, dead yet. Maybe he's part of the group. Oh, that's right. I don't have enough charges for my symbiotic entity. Because I do that chain. You almost started a fight? Yeah, we started a fight. Well, you, you're not in the combat right now, so you can go into sneak and do a backstabbing attack. Can we just push him over the ledge? Probably. That's the way you have to think. How do I push him over the edge? Go stand up next to him uh, and push him on the over the edge. Oh, I can do that. Base key is a V. Whose turn is it? Oh, it's not my turn yet. Never mind. And, and if some of us are in a pack on turn, we still go by the rule of left portrait first, then the next one, and in, in, in just the, the order we see. Yeah. Because I could go now. Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, you're both done. Okay. So why is there a yellow thing over the one portrait and a purple one, or is it red over the other one? Um... Neutral NPC, I think. Oh. Uh, hobo in the boxcar. Oh. Hobo's, hobo's turn is down. We're waiting for Hurricane. Yes. I'm thinking. Yellow thing. It's, uh, I think he's talking about the border around the picture of Nadira, the one the last one on the top of the screen. It's yellow and then uh, Jeff's is purple like ours. You missed. Oh, he's going to kick your ass, you know that, right? I want to stop him from going to her. He's still going to kick your ass, you know that, right? <laughs> oh, he did not move? Oh, he used all his moves. So, Jeff's turn. He counts as surprised. Hurricane said he doesn't want him to have a straight run at uh, Nadira there. Hmm. 
Pretty sure he's not afraid of a sorcerer, though. He's gonna just walk right up by him. Dwarf's a different story. Well, then I get a free swing if you would have tried to get by me. Again. <laughs> so, that guy. Where is she going? Time for mercy. Hiding. And jump off the cliff or what? Probably. Did she run? Where did she go? She climbed up higher. She went higher. Oh, that's a smart one. Why would you go up higher? I don't know. Like when you're trying to run away from a bear, you climb a tree. You get you climb. But what if the ch bear can climb trees too? Well, then you got a problem. Dead bug bear. Anything on him? I don't know. Look. Probably not. Nothing. Okay. He's going to talk to her. Yes, it was a shocking development. I'll leave that to Hurricane. He's got the charisma, wasn't he? The one with the charisma? Good yeah. Timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Who's Avernus? Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Too you bad. the nine helps. I earned it, fair and square. Coin mistress, you lost me. I've been to Avernus, but I'm not, not devil servant. Have you been to Avernus? Checking what she's selling. Uh, nothing interesting. Yeah. How do you know he's selling stuff? Care to explain why you reek of the hells? Not sure. Why do we reek of the hells? Oh, mind flare? Oh, oh yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah. That's why. I forgot about that. We were actually not in the prime material when that happened. It wasn't our fault. Nope. It was Jeff's fault. <laughs> With only a five, so I guess I don't need guidance here. Yeah. You'll be fine. Well, you don't think you'll be good. Barely. Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Here, take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. There you go. We're not in hell. But when you have to go there. Okay, he wants to use a telescope. To look at what? I don't know, that's what I got to use a telescope for. Why can't she just tell us what she was looking at with the telescope? You could just use it yourself and see what happens. Use the telescope. Oh dear oh. god. Well, I was right. Okay, squint at the distant object, trying to make it out further details, or focus the telescope on the dis telescope on the distant object, trying to get it better stuff. Which 
one did you pick? I didn't see. Focus. Focus. And like how you focus on it just as it goes out of frame. You see a red dragon, tyrannical, greedy, and vain. They hunt without pity. To the left or to the right? Are we high enough a level to fight a dragon? No. You will get decimated by a red dragon. To the left. Hey, we've been there. The telescope points straight ahead. That's where the dragon was. Go to the right. See what's over there. Probably nothing. The telescope points to the right. Oh, look, it's a building. Why can't we hear what's happening there? <laughs> Shh. Now, she's always been dead when I come up here, so I wonder if she's got anything else to say. That coin's worth plenty. Don't let a squid get their tentacles on it. Nope. Well, that's it. What's next? Now, can we do it? Since we're four players and won't change the party, I don't know if there's any other practical use of those coins than selling them. Mm. Can we take a short rest? So I can get my shape changing stuff back. I thought Gimpy was kind of inferring we we're going to go to hell. No. Hurricane was inferring we were going to hell. Now I'm confused. I never said that. I said on the question, what is Avernus? Shouldn't that be the name of one of the nine hells? Or at least hell itself? I, I don't know. Quest board? What quest board? No quest board around here. <clears throat> Hell Prime. You made it inside. That will be safe here for long, though. There will be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. Hey, more XP. She's selling a potato. Yummy potatoes. Scare a few golf. It's pathetic. Why do you want to take your chances on Why the road? Let me see if you can buy stuff. Where is that again? Lower left hand corner. And yeah. it's a second button from the left. Yeah, it's grayed out. Right, you have to be talking to her. Oh, okay, never mind. Never so mind. after Hurricane's done, you could go to you could talk to her and let her say her thing real quick and you should be able to click I on that button. If we at least oh, okay. knew how many are out there. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. If the road the is city. clear, a ten days walk, maybe. But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. A goblin. Aridin's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. I walk around as a bear where I think I'm Halsin. Like He's selling a fire arrow and a lightning arrow. Hey, Brew Dog, welcome back. Happy Friday. Start over again? Yes, but this time we're doing multiplayer. By all rights, he was a good man. I saw enough of him to agree. And I'm tired of good people dying. That's for sure. Crisis after another. It seems Mole was as good as her word. She's reported that you've been threatening children. What? Uh oh. Children, I was threatening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking. Uh, I don't know who this is. It's not me. I've spoken to children. Yeah, it's not me.
well. Who threatened the kid? That was the question. They took all my stuff. What? Who was talking mole to when that uh, counting to zero was uh, mentioned? Was it me? Jeff's in prison. Jeff is in prison. All Just... right, jailbreak it is. <laughs> what am I doing in prison? Where Wait for it? us. How did he get in prison? He got arrested for assaulting children. I didn't assault any children. Apparently you hey, did. Oh! It is time to take a break. He wasn't leaving when he was counting to zero. Your Good next job, break is in one hour. How is that equivalent to assaulting a child? Not listening to a child when he's counting to pack from ten. That's totally different. Oh, yep. he's a, a squeaky little one. Where was that prison again? It's back it's underground. No, it's not. It's down, just go this way, down towards uh, where Auntie Ethel is. And then keep on going. It's this I'm way. Running. It's over there. Should we break him out after a break? He, yeah. he, yep. he needs to sit we there. Yeah, he needs to sit down or sit in there and wait for a little while and realize the, or contemplate on the crimes he's committed. So, <laughs> I jump off of a cliff or something. Yeah, uh, yep, yep. Anyway, we're gonna take a break, and when we come back. We will break jail or break Jeff out of jail, probably. So anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and of course, thank you Jeff Hobo and Hurricane for joining me because <laughs> Jeff's a criminal. Be back shortly. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the dog video. <laughs>